guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you've already read the title. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to organize your pantry for $20 from the Dollar Tree. I have these bins right here. I've actually used these before. And I have these labels from Amazon, about $7. These are $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Let me show you guys how I use these. Let me show you my pantry. It's a little bit of a hot mess right now. That's okay, guys. We're gonna put this into different zones and I'm gonna use the chalk labels with the chalk pen and we're gonna get this all organized today. I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna clean all the shelving, the floor, get rid of anything that I don't need. So I'm gonna purge items. Then I'm gonna set up zones. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a totally transformed pantry when I'm done. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, let me give you a quick tour. And I'm just gonna warn you guys that yesterday there was some coconut flakes that dropped from the top shelf. Could have been the cat, could have been one of my kids, but there was a bag of coconut that was dropped from the top shelf and the coconut flakes went everywhere. So it's, it's okay because I'm gonna be taking everything out and cleaning it anyway so probably happened at the best time I've already did a little bit of sweeping because it went everywhere but as you can see you can see right there I have coconut flakes everywhere all right guys so let me show you guys up here what I usually do is I usually keep cereal and granola and stuff like that and then back there all the way in the back if you guys can see because I can't even see that there's baking stuff which I may relocate that stuff I'm not sure right now and then we can't see but but I already have these bins I bought these at Walmart probably like over 10 years ago so I might redo the labels on these but you can't even see everything because it's just so covered up by everything I have some rice there and then canned goods I have three lazy Susans in the corners which I will keep because that pretty much helps me stay organized with the canned goods in the back there and then I usually do pasta, pasta sauce on this shelf. I have condiments, my aluminum foil, my baggies and everything there. I have lots of tuna fish here. This is just extra stuff. The peanut butter and jelly is usually around here. And then I do have these containers that I do keep for my bread machine. I usually fill these up all at the same time so I can just grab one and make a loaf of bread really quickly. Seaweed snacks right there. I have my nuts and seeds right here, my chicken broth. I have breadcrumbs and croutons and stuff like that over here. Some fish fry. And then on the bottom, it's just, it's a hot mess. It's just, I have some bins and it's kind of a little bit organized. I have some tissues right here. Back in here, I have napkins, some paper products. And then at some point it just, everything was thrown in there. Then over here, I have my little mopping bucket. I have my broom and everything over here. And then I bought these huge bulk sugar. I actually have to get some buckets for those and put those somewhere else. Then I have pancake mix, some potatoes, and some more rice right there. So yeah, I'm gonna remove everything out of here and I'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna go through everything and then I'll show you guys the bins. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the kit that I bought on Amazon. Thought we could open this together. This has 96 labels, one marker, 10 designs. So 48 large, 30 medium, 18 small. This is the brand. I will try to link this below in the description box. Let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right, so in the envelope, there's my labels. There is a little fold here, but that's okay. I'll work around that. And then I have this chalk marker right here. If this one is not good, then I already have a backup. I have one from the Dollar Tree I can use. So we'll see how this one is. All right, so these are the small, and then this is the mediums. I just realized that these labels right here, I actually tested one out right here. They're a lot smaller than the ones I have on the bins already. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to find some on Amazon and I'm gonna try to link them below that closely resemble the ones that I have size wise. I'll show you guys an example of this one too. So if you guys do wanna get this one, then yeah, just pick whatever size you guys want. Okay guys, so there's the label that I currently have on the bins. And then this is the size of their label. I'm gonna show you the one that I already put. I put this one right here on one of the bins and show you the difference of size. All right guys, so this is the one from Amazon in this package right here. That's the size. It's actually, it's a pretty good size right there. This is the one that I have that I made a long time ago. They probably do sell this size on Amazon. I'm just gonna have to track these down. So yeah, there's the two different sizes, guys. You can go ahead and go with this one if you like that. If you like a larger one, then check my description below. Let's get started. Okay guys, this is the chalk marker that comes with the kit and I really like this marker. This is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example of this one. There it is guys. I love it, it looks really good. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna start on the bottom level right here, and I have these crates that I'm gonna use just to make it a lot easier. I'm gonna to try to throw everything in here, fill them up as much as I can to make the process go a little quicker. Hey guys, I've emptied everything out of the bottom level. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this. I'm gonna do a mop later. Just to make it easier, I don't wanna be stepping on this when I'm pulling everything else out. Only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you It's a new beginning and a better life There's a dancing underneath the disco lights They can try, but they can never take me down ooh, ooh, ooh. Cause I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid Hey guys, I've taken everything out. It's empty. The only things I'm leaving are the three Lazy Susans in the middle. I'm just gonna leave those and I'm gonna clean all around that. Those are just my canned goods and uh, they're already organized. So I'm just gonna leave those and I'm gonna start cleaning. I don't know if you guys can see here. I have all these coconut flakes. And then of course I just need to scrub it down because it's been a while since it's had a good scrubbing. I mean, I haven't emptied the whole pantry out since I moved in. So if you guys are interested, this these liners right here, it pretty much keeps everything from falling down into the cracks. So those are nice. I installed those as soon as I moved in. So yeah, let's get started. That's it, I have already cleaned everything. I vacuumed, wiped down all the shelving, and swept and mopped the floor, so it is very clean, as you guys can see. Yeah. So everything is fresh and clean, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start getting the bins together. And yeah, we're gonna get everything put back in here. So I have all my bins laid out. They're ready for everything to be put back in. I already wrote everything on them. Have them sitting over there because my kitchen is crazy right now. This is everything from my pantry. So I pretty much laid everything out on the island. I have more on the floor over here because we really couldn't fit everything up there. So now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff that doesn't need to come back in and everything else we're gonna organize into bins. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. I wanted to show you what I ended up doing with all of my aluminum foil and plastic wrap and baggies and everything. So I used to have it in the pantry and I thought it'd work really good in this drawer right here because really I was just keeping some barbecue accessories and just some random stuff right here. This worked out so much better to have my freezer bags in the back, my regular bags right here. I have my wax paper, aluminum foil and plastic wrap, and then I have my 
really small snack bags and then my ultra cheap ones that I just use for like stuff that doesn't need to be wrapped tight. Yeah, I have all different sizes and everything fits perfectly in this drawer right here. So that gave me a whole extra bin for the pantry. Okay guys, I already have these. These are basically my baking supply and I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite the labels to match my bins, the same writing style. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. I'm gonna grab a bin. I'm gonna fill it up over here, and at the end, I'm gonna put all the bins back into the pantry. So, you guys ready? 
Oh yeah. Look at that pantry. Check it out. I'm going to show you guys close up. Give you guys a little tour. It is all organized. It is all clean. I'm going to show you guys everything that I've done. So right here I have my cleaning supplies, a little mop bucket. And in this bin right here, I just have some potatoes and overflow rice. This one I have all paper products, napkins, and cups and plates and all that. I have my tissues right here, some extra soap, and back here I have my trash bags. Then I have my recycle bin right there in the corner. And then on this shelf right here, we have one bin for peanut butter, snacks, and more snacks. Over on this one, I have croutons and breadcrumbs, and then I have chicken broth and nuts and seeds. Yeah, and over on this wall right here, and I've had this for a long time, but this is just my little bag organizer, my little throw your Walmart bags or Target or whatever, and this holds a lot of bags. You just hang this up on the wall. I love this thing right here. I would definitely recommend this bag holder. This is amazing. So then over here, I have bread and tortillas, and then canned meat. I just put all my tuna, chicken, and salmon in this bin. I have a lot of it, so I decided to make a bin just for this. And then in this one, I have soups. And then over here, I have have condiments and salad dressing and vinegar and oil. I separated all this. I used to have two bins of condiments and it was just crazy. So this keeps it a lot more organized. And the Lazy Susans in the back, this is for all my canned goods. And this just makes it really easy to just turn this around and see what I have. I've had these for a long time and I like these because if, if you don't have these in the corner, then this space kind of just doesn't get used or you start storing stuff back here, you don't even know what you have. So these Lazy Susans, they make it really great for that corner space in these kind of pantries. You can see that right there. So on this level, the next level up, I have my pasta sauce and then I have two things of pasta because I have a lot of pasta. And then in this one, I have grains, dried beans, and then I labeled this one Mexican. Top shelf, I have pancake mix, some cereal, granola, and then I might get another one of these containers, but I went ahead and added a label there from the kit that I bought on Amazon, and I put cereal on there. Over here I have oatmeal. I have a lot of these little packs of oatmeal right here for the kids. And then in the corner over here, I have baking, I have cupcake kits and sprinkles and little cupcake liners and all that over there. After I finished filming, I actually had more to the set and I found, I think it was about six or seven more bins. So I ended up labeling these and just throwing these in here. I love the set so much, I might buy a few pieces to add to this collection. Maybe I wanna do like a bin for walnuts, maybe oatmeal, loose oatmeal and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get one more look of the after. So you guys can see that the the labels really pop out. These are just dollar bins from the Dollar Tree. It cost me $20 to do this. And I already had those baskets. Like I said, these bins are the wash bins from Dollar Tree and just throw you some labels. These are the extra large ones. Get you a little chalk pen and wow, it's just amazing what some cheap dollar bins can do with some chalk labels. I am so happy with this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this gives you some inspiration to get your pantry organized or really any closet. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thanks for watching.